Hello everyone and welcome to the Jewel of the Calendar. It's time for the Monaco Grand Prix. That's right, it's finally here. It's race time and after an amazing performance so far, 6th on the practice session, 3rd on Q1, 2nd in Q2 and 3rd on Q3, Tony Pesedo is starting on the 2nd row for one of the most important races of the season as usual especially on a back marker car I mean it's just amazing 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 performance from Tony so far but without further ado it's time to go to the race as you can see here Tony will be going for a two stop decided before qualifying three so lapping uh, pitting, sorry, lap 29 and then lap 53 before completing the 78 laps of the Monaco Grand Prix. So it's time for us to go to the grid. But I need to kill a mosquito first. Or maybe not. So here we are for the formation lap. And away we go. Fisichella leads the way ahead of Schumacher, ahead of Tony, ahead of Alonso and Massa. Two Ferraris, two Renaults on the top five, and the Midland right in between in third place. Last podium position. Can Tony? do an absolute stun of a job and get his first point and maybe podium at Monaco I am so badly positioned it's a joke holy crap so we are ready to go three lights four lights and five lights are now on and they are off for this Monaco Grand Prix. Tony has a brilliant start. He overtakes Michael Schumacher down to turn one. Gets the move done. And it's P2 for the Midland driver at turn one. Fisichella maintains the lead. And we know this is the worst sector of the lap to Tony. So Fisichella will open the gap. And Schumacher tries a move down the inside at Mirabeau. Tony fight, fights well and keeps P2 at the moment Alonso still P4 and Massa still P5 top 5 pretty much with no alteration apart from a change from P2 Fisichella still is the way now with a pretty decent gap to Tony now through the Nobel chicane Schumacher is all over the back of the middle and driver probably on a 3 stop I would say against a two stop of the middle and driver 2.5 seconds separate the Renault of the P the second place to middle and End of lap one 2.1 seconds separate the Renault from the middle and 1.4 seconds between Tony and Michael Schumacher so Tony starting to get into a rhythm especially on the last sector considering the first sector is his worst uh, that was a very good last sector Tony opening up the gap doing a 14.5 fastest lap of the race for him as gap between him and physical is now 7 0.6 seconds still a big gap after that penalty and everything remains unchanged on the top five after four laps no no way
No, oh my god. Look at all the chaos as well, oh my god. That's ridiculous. I literally can't believe it. I just, I just, <laughs> oh my god. I just don't know what to say. If you like the video, if you like the series, make sure you subscribe. To watch more of Tony Potato and I'll see you tomorrow for the British Grand Prix. Until then, goodbye.